on the tire spun. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a modified Ford Ranger. This particular one started out as an XLT, but it has now been dubbed the Baby Raptor by John Jenks, who is the owner of this truck. So he's actually a salesman over here at the Ford store in Provo, Utah. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory, but seriously, if you're in the market for a Ford, Definitely look up John Jenks so that, well, if he sells more cars, then he can modify the truck more, which is gonna be awesome. It's the uh, John Jenks Baby Raptor Fund, which it's very important. It's, it's for a good cause, guys. So definitely check him out. But let's get into the video of looking at his truck. Now under the hood of the Ranger, we have a turbocharged 2.3 there, four cylinder that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Now, typical power outputs from the factory are right around 300 horsepower and then 300 pound feet of torque roughly. This one is modified, it has about 400 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque, which is just huge gains from the stock numbers. If you're wondering about fuel economy, he's been averaging about 16 miles per gallon, a little bit over that, but he also has a lead foot, so take that into account. This is with the high beams on. Still very bright with those stock bulbs. Something you will notice is I did forget to re-aim the bulbs uh, once we got it leveled with the Fox suspension. Kinda has made some drivers mad. They think that my high beams are on when they're not. So of course I gotta flash them back, right? Now let's go over the front end on the Baby Raptor. And by the way, Ox Beam has uh, graciously sponsored this video by providing John Jenks with the LED lights that this has. They're absolutely fantastic. They are the high beams, and we'll go over those in just a moment, but he hasn't changed anything with the hood, but I'm thinking that he should put like Baby Raptor on the hood, just, just kind of like a subtle detail that would be pretty cool, or some stripes, that'd also be cool. Now, he has added the Ford front grille, so it does say Ford there on the front, just like the regular Raptors. And I know it's kind of dim, or sorry, it's bright outside, so it's kind of hard to see. But he has also added all of the marker lights, just like what the Raptor has. And then yes, you've got the LED high beams from Ox Beam, and then you do have the regular halogen lights that the Ranger comes with. Fog lights just down below. You got parking sensors all along the front, and then you got the tow hooks as well. Definitely love the front end. I think that grill just absolutely transforms it. So at least add the grill, and then obviously you can add the lights for some extra visibility at night. Now for the side here, we've got two 65 millimeter tires on 17 inch rims in the front and in the rear as well. And then this does have a leveling kit, which also upgrades the suspension. So this does a lot better on the off-road because of that. And then these are the tires that he has added to it. So you guys will notice they look super similar to what's on the Raptor because it's the same tire. It's just a little bit of a smaller size. And then I love that little kind of like touch with the caps on the end. Definitely just kind of like a nice little coloration. I love the finish on the rims as well, just with the granite look to it. Just absolutely looks crazy. and. Obviously it matches the bumpers and the little fender flares as well. You got the cool little venting there on the side and then this one is an FX4 package. And then here's kind of like your side angle so you can see how this sits with that leveling kit this is how the Ranger really should sit from the factory. Now here is the key fob for the baby Raptor and that's just what we're gonna call it for the rest of the video. You've got the Ford logo on the back. You've got the little flip out key here because this one again is the XLT. You've got the unlock and the lock and then the remote start. So we just have to lock it, press the remote start twice and that'll lead us to the next modification which is the exhaust. And you guys will get an exhaust cup a little bit later in the video like normal but definitely has this nice like beefy like deep rumbling sound and yeah. Way better than stock. Now coming to the rear, we do have bed liner in the truck that he added as well, which I mean, I know it's like a super simple modification, but very important, I actually need to get it in my Raptor. So I just love the consistency on the bed liner that he has added, just really good consistency in general. And you guys can kind of see the rest of the bed. Lifting up the tailgate, nothing crazy there. It's pretty much all the same. And then for the rear end, most important modification, custom license plate, baby Raptor. And you've got the receiver hitch down below, which by the way, what this receiver hitch does is if a car decides to rear end him, then he gets to uh, keep their front bumper for the rest of eternity because well, they'll land on the receiver hitch. But yeah, that's um, everything for the back. He hasn't done any modifications with the taillights or anything like that, but he doesn't need to because the taillights in the range are already from the factory. Well, they look good. Now coming to the back of the Ranger, you guys will notice the door panel here in the XLT, nothing has been changed here. And then here's what the seats look like in the rear. You've got the cool little like rivets down the seats and then you got all the stitching as well. And then notice over here, you got a couple little USBs and then you get a full little power outlet. Rubber floor mats in the back. And then there's this little strap right here that you pick up and that's actually what picks up the seat. 
And we've got all the important necessities. You got a little strap in case you gotta pull someone out. Got some uh, glass cleaner in case you need to clean the truck. And well, that's the uh, rear. Coming up to the front, we do have blind spot monitoring and opening up the door panel here at the front looks identical to what is in the rear. Now the seats here on the front look identical to what's in the rear as well. Now the only thing is obviously, these have a little bit more aggressive bolsters on them compared to the rear seats, but you get the same little rivets down them. They are power adjustable. Here's what the pedals look like in the Ranger XLT. Got another rubber floor mat. Got all your light controls right here. And then the steering wheel is also manually adjustable, but there's one more look before we pop in. Boom. So let's pop on the baby Raptor. And yeah, the exhaust sounds good when it pops on, but yeah, everything will come to life. Here's the steering wheel in the Baby Raptor. Now, you've got the volume controls over here. You've got the controls for like your phone controls, all that kind of stuff. And then you got the controls for the center stack, adaptive cruise control as well. Stitching on the inside of the steering wheel. Got a little light control and then your lane departure assistance right there. And then you've got the control for the windshield wiper stocks on the other side, but that's your whole steering wheel. Now here in the center, you've got RPMs over on the left side. On the right side, you've got the speed. And then notice you can go through different bits of information. So I can go into like truck info, for example. And then it'll show me like the off-road status, which is pretty neat. But in terms of the setup on this, just like any other Ranger. And again, this is the most important part because the off-roading. Now over here with the center screen, we're going to pop into reverse first and foremost. Now notice that the line lines up perfectly in the zoom in function to show you with the receiver hitch so that function there you go you guys can see how good that is and then you can see the parking sensors for the front and for the rear and the trajectory lines do turn with the steering wheel now with the rest of the screen itself notice that obviously you got the touchscreen functionality on it and then you got a little navigation function touchscreen response time is pretty good and something that i found out is you can actually customize the screen itself that's gonna be a separate video that i'm going to post later I'm not sure when, but with John Jenks where he shows you kind of how you can like hack the screen in this. Pretty cool. Volume controls right down here, and then you got your analog climate controls as well. This does come with heated seats. More importantly, you got a little charging station down there, but even more important, you got like little off-road cruise control. That's for the auto stop, sorry if you don't like it. Locker for the rear stability control. You got your parking sensor button, and then that's for towing. And then coming over here, this is the shifter with the for the 10-speed automatic, I should say. You do have the little manual buttons if you want to shift the gears yourself. And then you can see over here you got the drive line select as well, which is obviously going to be very important for off-roading. Couple cup holders, you got your whole center console area, which very nicely padded. And then you've got the little e-brake shifter right there. And then coming over here, we've got the glove box, which decent amount of storage space, definitely really good for a mid-sized truck. Up top here, you guys can see you got a little sunglass holder for the cool shades, and then you got the headliner. I'm not exactly sure what that is. That doesn't matter, that's not in the video. Little phone holder, which is pretty neat. This is the most important part. It does come with the Ford Performance Tuner, so uh, that's how you got those good, good power gains. So, by the way, even though this is modified with extra power, still covered under warranty. The one point that I wanna hit on before we take this Ranger out and drive it is the fact that this is still covered under warranty. So even though it has all these cool modifications, most of them are from Ford itself. And so those are covered under the manufacturer's warranty as well, which is just definitely a really nice touch. And they're not too expensive. You can kind of use Ford's like point system when you get a new Ford to kind of help for pay for a lot of it. So yeah, but let's take her out and see how she drives. show you guys visibility here in the baby raptor before we set off so you can see visibility over the hood just looks a little bit higher because of that leveling kit but it's unchanged there's your visibility through both of the mirrors and then here's visibility all throughout the rear and a side comment i guess the baby raptor comes uh, stock with the uh, smell of cologne so uh pretty interesting but let's set off well i'm here in the parking lot of the ford store and we're going to be setting off in the baby raptor and I mean, obviously you guys are probably watching this video to see if this is actually quicker than a Raptor. And just so you know, I'm qualified to talk about that because I own a 2020 Ford Raptor. So I know exactly how it feels like acceleration wise and all that. And so I'll be able to tell pretty quick if this uh, actually feels quicker than a Raptor. The one thing I can tell you is this has a pedal commander and it just, it feels so like jumpy off the line, which is pretty neat. 
Well, we got a cop apparently. This thing's going off like crazy. But initially setting off here, hopefully that stops or I might have to unplug. Actually, you know what? Just gonna unplug it for now. So initially setting off, this feels just as smooth as a stock Ranger, even though it has that upgrade on the suspension and then also the more aggressive tires, it still feels really smooth. And coming through here, the steering doesn't feel as, doesn't feel like vague at all. It feels normal, like this feels really good. And I'm gonna kind of get like our first little, oh, there's, well, look, the radar detector, I mean, not the radar detector, this device in here, it actually works because uh, there's a cop right there. So thank you for uh, saving me in advance because we were gonna get a little acceleration there, but, now we're not because, well, there's a, there's a cop sitting there. But continuing along, I mean, it, it feels just like any other Ranger from like a driving perspective initially. Now, obviously the part is, fun part is gonna be with the shifting. So we are gonna go into the manual mode here. And yeah, those downshifts, I mean, they feel really quick. And I guess that's the thing I really wanna impress on you guys is this has a lot of cool upgrades, but it doesn't make it that it's like any harder to drive compared to a regular Ranger and well, it looks like uh, I'm going to be stuck here in famous Provo traffic for a second, so sorry. Well, this is actually my second attempt on an acceleration here in the Baby Raptor. Sorry, John, the tire spun. Wow, that's a lot quicker than I thought it would be. And by the way, that was actually my second take on an acceleration because someone totally cut in front of me when I was trying to accelerate the other time. And yeah, it was kind of sad. But that's actually really quick and i mean the tires spin way more than what my raptor does when i'm accelerating so hmm but just like kind of feeling that again same transmission as a raptor obviously i definitely think it's just as quick as a raptor like even though it's a four cylinder compared to the Raptors V6 and like part of me just doesn't want to believe that you could have a Ford Ranger that's as quick as a Raptor, I have to accept reality. And reality is this thing is actually as quick as a Raptor, if not maybe even a little bit quicker, which I mean is sad for me, but is good for John Jenks because that means that he can go and just gap Raptors all day in his Ranger. And I mean, they're probably gonna look at his license plate initially and they're gonna laugh at him and they're gonna be like, haha, baby Raptor. And then he's gonna gap them and then they're gonna be like, oh, feels bad, man, feels bad. Ooh, downshifts are good. Well, we're gonna get one more acceleration here before we get into summing things up with the uh, Baby Raptor. Wow. Oh, it just like backfired, that was cool. <laughs> that exhaust is cool for sure. So, yeah, let's get into summing things up with the Baby Raptor and Again, I'm going to have to be honest, this does feel just as quick as a Raptor. And I mean, with the suspension and obviously I'm going to have to convince John Jenks to go off-roading with me so we can do like a full-on off-road comparison with this versus my Raptor. But I mean, I think that this thing is just like a better truck than the Raptor all overall. Like you get just as good of an acceleration and you know, pretty much like interior wise, if you, especially if you went up to like the Lariat Ranger, you could get all the same interior features as a Raptor. This is kind of like more like an entry level Raptor from like an, in, well, yeah, pretty much like an entry level Raptor from like an interior perspective. You have the power and with the upgraded suspension from Ford with the leveling kit that this has, I mean, it probably has maybe not as good from a suspension standpoint capability wise, but it's probably somewhat close. And so, you just get all this value and it's so much less money. I mean, an XLT Ranger is like less than 40 grand for a lot of them. A Raptor is like 60 grand for a base model. So you can do a lot with $20,000 obviously. And I mean, this is nowhere near $20,000 in terms of a build. And yeah, Baby Raptor's crazy. Good job, John Jenks. And there we have it guys, the Baby Raptor. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to John Jenks here at the Ford Store in Provo for providing us with his truck. Just giving me a little bit of time with it. And seriously, if you're in the market for a Ford, definitely give him a call. He hooked me up with my Raptor, so he's definitely gonna hook you up with whatever Ford you want. And he actually sold two Shelby GT500s, which is just absolutely crazy. But that all being said, I'll see all of you in the next video.